Okay, so uh, now I'm going to do installation of the Da Vinci. Um, it's fairly straightforward. I've got it up here already downloaded. I went back to 10, but now there's 11.2. But for for this, I'm just going to focus on installing this. So I, I took off my 11 and um, and I'm putting here. So this is very very briefly what you do. So and if yours looks any different to this, I guess you've got problems. So anyway you can see there that you've got some other bits and pieces, the visual basic, quick time, you need quick time to be installed and uh, whatever the hell that is, that SQL, that's probably another programming language. And as you can see there, it's DaVinci Resolve 10.1, and that's the light version. And it's for my my machine. And then we go, okay, wizard, yeah, why not? And then we accept. Do we ever read these things, do we? Hmm, hmm? No. Uh, obviously, that's the destination where it's going. Okie doke. And uh, I'll probably end up fast forwarding a bit of this. Okay, so uh, Da Vinci is now completed the setup. Uh, resolve installed successfully. Isn't that nice? Now, I did find uh, a bit of a oddity once when I was looking for it. I couldn't actually find... Oh no, there you go. I have, I've had numerous installations. It could be because it was a an earlier one. I'm going to put that in my pin. Mac users, you do your... Stick it in your whatnot. Uh, okay, so let's open it up. Okay, and there we go, it is starting, it's looking for a control surface which I don't have but I will do this later if you have an iPad, there's a free app you can use that will uh, turn your iPad into a colour correcting pad. Right now, this is taken my original installation but if you were coming up for the first time you create a um, you, you create a user and then you can change the password and you can also add a photograph why you need you don't need it in a domestic situation but if you imagine if you work somewhere and there are ten colorists well each one will be uh, using the machine separately and um, they want a certain amount of control over who sees their things but if you're domestic and you just got the one uh, it's a bit silly so in a way it would be better if it wasn't there you can add more users there and you can do that and it, uh, it will just exit or this is the thing if you're first setting it up uh, like here you'll see um, the I've actually deleted it it's the you know just a base user you see, if you create a new one so you can name it to whatever you want uh, and then here driver uh, now as far as I'm aware that is if you've got a networked uh, servers and you're going to go onto a network, so you'd have to find the network driver. And when you say disk, you actually then are going to use the disks that are connected to your PC or Mac. Okay, so uh, 
and then it'll ask you to create a database when you very first a, a, a file and so you can you basically go on to your if you've got an external drive you go on to that external drive and you create a file that you can and you just can call it DaVinci and then you put everything in there and so every time you log on it will um, it will go back to that drive initially and the other thing is that the software because it's like a proper pro thing it will only ever look in uh, in that area it won't look anywhere beyond there because of course it's to do with servers and in a professional environment you'd have lots of different software running and you don't want to get onto someone's flame and then delete their precious materials um, and so that's basically it now so I'm running 10 um, and these things I did before um, on 11 but they should just boot, boot straight up and they'll come up from the uh, from my external well it's not an external it's internal but it's another drive uh, and there we go um, not really sure what else so I guess for now I will do things that cover um, I don't know what's up with that oh I th well yeah old knows probably to do with the fact that I just installed fresh software and it's lost some connections or also there's probably things on that that um, it can't do so that's probably why it's just halted um, so I'll, I'll get back to sorting that out but I'll do another one just on the software and talking about the media page the editing page the colouring page and the final exporting the projects page uh, and so that's it alright see you next time Bye.